So here we go. Today is the day that we've all been waiting for. We're finally going to pick up our new boat that we've been hyping up on the channel for about the past six months. Yeah. And gosh, we could not be more excited. Yeah, and the thing is, we got the Pathfinder behind us hooked up for a reason. We're actually taking it to Caribbe to get some work done so mm -hmm. that way we can put it up for sale. We've had a few inquire about it, so you should see it up on the market in about, what do you say, like a month? I'd say about a month or two, give or take. Yeah, and we are super excited to get our new boat. Don't tell them what it is oh. yet. They gotta come <laughs> hang out with us to see what we got cooking. Well, it's actually already done. We just gotta go pick it up. So, like Stephanie was saying, Caribbean Boat Sales, that is one of the Pathfinder dealers down here in the Florida Keys. We're gonna go give them the 23, get a nice little fluff and buff done on it, put it yeah. up for sale. And we're gonna go pick up our new baby. So let's go get it. Just so you know, I'm driving home with a new boat. <laughs> So what's so crazy about this whole deal here is that I'm driving right now. Yeah, that <laughs> number number one, number two is we bought a boat that we've never even ridden on before, let alone I've never even seen. I've seen 3D renderings of the boat, but this entire process started about six months ago. If you guys have been following along with the channel, but you know, once you see renderings of something and you've never really even seen it with your own two eyes and you've never even ridden on it. You know, of course, there's a lot of things that can happen along the way. That's why I've kind of kept this kind of a, a secret, I guess you could say, because I wasn't even sure if this was really even gonna happen. But sure enough, everything played out exactly as we planned. And here we are picking up our brand new boat, but it's just wild because like I said, like I, I really don't know what to expect. This is a boat that we've never seen, nor even ridden on before, so. Definitely a lot of excitement, a lot of emotions right now. So I'm excited. Here we are. I don't see the boat anywhere. They know we're making a big reveal, so they, they hit it from you guys. And here we go. Let's see it. Moment of truth. Let's see how it comes out. Pathfinder 24 Open. A lot of people don't even know that this model exists mm -mm. right now, so it is an absolute blessing and pleasure to be working with Pathfinder and have our hands on a brand new model yeah. that most people don't even know exists, so I think that's so cool. Yeah, and to be honest, like when Clay and I were picking our next Bebo, what we were gonna do, there's two things that I kind of wanted. Mm -hmm. um, one being, I wanted an area to use the restroom. Um, so it has a nice center console, enough room for big me to get in, console. a big center console. And it has a T-top. So those are two of my requests. Yep. And they delivered, it's beautiful. Yep. I'm super excited to get in Whisper it. Whisper gray with the white on top. Uh -huh. She did get her T-top, but I made sure to get my tower. <laughs> yeah. But let's take this thing home. Let's put it in the water. I'm so excited to test it out. Yeah. Like we said, we don't even know how this boat runs. No. So today's going to be an interesting day to mm -hmm. say the least. Like I said, that powers everything on. Start, stop, starts up. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, if you leave this at the end of the day. Got to hit off. You can tap the top button to lock. That locks it. Okay. Avery. Uh, you jacked all the way up, so just when you hop in the water. Thank you down. so Congrats, much. Congrats, guys. Thank you Thank so you. much. Seriously, if you have any questions or anything comes up, just call me. Let's go put her in the water. See what she's all about. Ladies drive first. Yep. <laughs> and they save the best for last. You buy the boat, you think all the dirty work is done, right? That's where you're wrong. Then you gotta constantly feed it fuel. So we're gonna fill her up right now. One thing I can say is it's well worth it. The money that you spend on fuel, 
I actually stopped using ethanol fuel a long time ago. First things first, because ethanol fuel is cheaper and we run our boats so much that we don't have to worry about that ethanol sitting in the boats. So, let's see how much she drinks. Just like that. It's insane. My first time ever driving this boat. God, that electronic steering is unreal. It's like butter. Pretty awesome. Well, take me to lunch. Take you to get lunch? Yeah. All right, let's go get lunch. Bye bye. You, sure like you don't want to go fishing? Positive. Wife versus husband. She wants to go to lunch. I want to go fishing. The best part about this boat is it's ours. <laughs> Down sea right now, but so far so good. That same old smooth Pathfinder ride. This tower is unreal, man. Like you can see everything clearly. I mean, especially in a place like the Florida Keys where we have really clear waters. I was just going through a cut right there that I have never seen in a way that I've just seen it right now. I mean, I knew exactly where I was going. I could see it so clearly and so defined because I'm so high. And this is just gonna be a game changer for finding bait, finding fish like mahi, permit on the wrecks. I mean, cobia, the list just goes on. The sour is everything that I thought it was gonna be and more. Let's go order our food. Eat. Hungry. Haven't eaten all day. We've been so excited about the boat. So as we're showing you guys our beautiful new gym of a boat, we figured we'll show you guys a little local gym down here in the Florida Keys. This place is called Made to Order. It's really cool because you can come here by boat, super close to our house. Yeah. So this is like our go-to place that we always used to take the Pathfinder, the old Pathfinder, because it was so easy and so accessible to bring your boat here and eat, so. And that's the thing about this size boat too. It's like the perfect keys boat. Like yep. you can take it out to lunch, take it over to the sandbar with no problem. I mean, you know, I love having a larger center console boat, but it's not practical if you're gonna be hopping from place to place. And doing exactly what yeah. we're doing today. Oh, here it is. It's here coming. it is, here we go. There you go. Thank Make you sure so if you guys much. come here, you get the ahi tuna sandwich. If you guys watched our Bahamas yellowfin tuna fishing video, this is where I got the inspiration from the sandwich. It's got some seared tuna with some sesame seeds. It's got some ginger, bacon, and mayo wasabi. 
mm. between some toast and it is delicious. Mm -hmm. I think it's so funny how we went from talking about a brand new boat to food, but yeah. <laughs> hey, it's, it's a day in the life, you know? We're showing you guys the real thing. Mm. What do you think, you feel good? feels so good. I, I haven't feel eaten much anything better. all day. It's like three in the afternoon. So the fact that we were able to put food in our yeah. bellies makes us all feel much better. Not to mention, we just got home from Wyoming last yeah. night at about three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Wake up a day later. Oh, by the way, your boat's done. So it's like, there's so much adrenaline and you're so excited. So yeah. we just had to stop. And uh, now that we feel good again. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cross through over into the bay. We're just gonna float around because mm -hmm. we don't have an anchor in the boat. Yeah. I forgot to put one in. It's fine. I wanna be brutally honest, yeah. but I'm really excited to give you guys a brief walkthrough mm -hmm. of this boat. I don't wanna go too in depth. Reason why is because I really like to learn the features of the boat before I talk about them because I feel like there's so much more value behind a boat walkthrough when you do so. But there are some really big key features in this boat that I really think is going to change the industry when it comes to manufacturers building bay boats. So this would be considered a hybrid, like between a bay boat and a center console, right? Yeah, but it's it's almost like it's created a new category. Yeah. Like it's almost beyond a hybrid and kind of a center console. It's just, it's really hard to explain. I mean, you guys will see why. I mean, this is truly a one-of-a-kind boat, in my honest opinion. Mm -hmm. Going through toilet seat cut right here. The story behind this place was is that the toilet seat got stuck up against the channel marker out here after a hurricane. And ever since then, people have made it a tradition to put toilet seats out here along the channel. Whether it's a wedding, an anniversary, a birthday, people basically use it to remember something. Pretty cool. So we made it here in the bay and we're kind of just going through the boat. It's so different when it's on the trailer versus when it's actually on the water. But to start up here in the bow, I mean, this boat is a bay boat up here, right? You have your step up, which is really cool. It's massive and it's very accessible. And that's something that's really important about this boat that gives it the open name. Everything is so open and everything is so walkable. Doesn't even feel like this is a 24 foot boat, but you have all the big storage hatches that Pathfinder is known for. I mean, this thing up front is massive. We also have an anchor locker, but we use trolling motors. And that's probably one of the biggest things about using a bay boat like this is just having the ability to use spot lock on the trolling motors. And that, in my opinion, that is why I love bay boats so much. I mean, the way that you can fish these boats with trolling motors is just unbelievable. And then right here, we have an insulated fish box that's big enough for a small wahoo, mahi, mutton snappers, groupers. I mean, this right here is huge. And this is something that we don't typically get on bay boats is fish boxes and it gets better, trust me. Right here, it gets a lot better. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. And obviously, <laughs> if we move back to the console there, we have a console that's big enough for a head. We went one foot bigger on this boat, mm -hmm. and now we have the ability to put a head in this boat, which I think is awesome. Yeah. We have a really big cooler, something that we always had an issue with on the last boat was, is whenever we were bringing a third person, we always had to bring another cooler, and this cooler is just massive. And now back here behind this console, this console is really wide, something that's really important. That way, if you get in nasty weather, 
Um, you can tuck behind this, it's not a problem. And another thing is too, is we have a really big face. A lot of people are putting the 16 inch screens on here, but we love offshore fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two 12 inch garments here, one for sonar, and then another one is my chart or whatever combination I wanna use it for. We're also gonna do another chart plotter up in the tower once the time comes. And like I was talking about earlier, this tower is just unbelievable. Leaning post, I mean, they blew it out of the water. You have this nice LeBrock bench seat. We have the bolsters that pop up, really comfortable. Everything makes sense. I can actually drive this boat while uh, sitting down, which is cool. And then moving back, we have this huge live well right here. Don't quote me, but I wanna say this is around 70, 80 gallons. And then we have the aquarium windows everywhere so we can always manage our bait. That is something that is huge too. And then we have a secondary well right here that you guys know we will be using because we're huge into live bait fishing. And it's also nice because you could separate things like shrimp and crabs versus pilchards. So it's always nice to have two options on the well. And then down here, this is huge, full pun intended, but this is our bilge access right here. And as you can see, I can get my entire body down in there if need be, which I am going to because Pretty soon we're gonna be rigging out this entire boat. Like we were saying, we're gonna do Garmin electronics, we're gonna do dual power poles, trolling motors, you know, everything, stereo. So eventually I will be down in there and God forbid if you have to change a pump, something like that, it's very easy and accessible. We did the jump seats back here. These just pull out. This is something that I felt was really important for whenever we have guests on the boat or when Stephanie gets tired of me. <laughs> They're nice and comfortable, so if you're gonna bring, you know, a few people out, you got some extra seating area in this boat that we didn't have previously, so. Yeah, I didn't feel like this was necessary, but this was more so just for friends and family. Yeah, yeah. And if you wanna stand up real quick, our model, these just go and tuck right back in just like that, so they're out of the way. And then like we were talking about, we have this whole open design back here. And this was the biggest thing that sold me on this boat. And I think you're gonna see a lot of other manufacturers starting to do this because yeah. there's a lot of people that love offshore fishing, but they still want a bay boat. Yeah. And that's us right here. And there's nobody really catering to that right now besides Pathfinder. Mm -hmm. And with that, since we don't have a step up here in the back, we're able to have in floor fish boxes. And this is something that to me is just gonna be a huge game changer because we're always bringing extra food, extra drinks, and we're always catching a lot of fish too. And now we have the ability to put say like a 50 pound mahi in here or a full size wahoo. And that's something that you were never able to do in a bay boat until now. So just so many features. I mean, there's a lot more to come. We're gonna do a full walkthrough video here in the future once we get to know the boat and it's set up. But guys, I am so appreciative. You know, every like, every comment, you know, your viewership, watching until the end of the video, that's what makes things like this possible. We're also so appreciative for Pathfinder Boats. Thank you guys so much. Everybody knows who they are yeah. and including our audience. And we're just so excited to make this happen, put this boat to use and just continue to make the best content that we possibly can for the internet. Yep. You couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I just want to emphasize on thank you guys so much for following us along the last three years. And if you're new to the channel, we want to thank you guys for just tagging along with us. But next time you see us, we're going to be She'll putting be this. She'll be fully rigged out. We'll be putting this to use. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not me. Maybe more so Stephanie. And you guys will see what I'm talking about if you watch the last video. But hey, it's my time to catch up. But till then, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye.